Believe it or not, I've learned more by doing this drawing than 100 drawings before, so stay tuned if you want to know why. Hey everyone, welcome to John Meet Your Art. This video is very special to me because I drew in a completely different way as usual, so I was pretty excited and couldn't wait to get started. Normally I do my artworks very controlled, well planned and the results are very detailed, like these. I spend a ton of time to create these fine details and shadings. I put a link in the description if you like to see the process videos. Anyway, doing hyperrealism is fun but sometimes I feel a little bit stuck in the reference and this super controlled technical drawing style. It was time for me to get my wrist loose again and do something different to evolve as an artist. So I took my drawing shoes on and grabbed my charcoal sticks and pencils. My goal was to do the complete opposite of what I'm doing usually just to break off my habits. So I didn't plan how my artwork should look like in the end and let some space for randomness to be more expressive in a technical and creative way. As I started I just had this little blink of an idea of a woman portrait in my mind and no, I didn't made a sketch before because I wanted to be as unaffected as possible just to find out how it will turn out when I draw more expressive and edgy in a format I will usually use for my final artworks. So I used my fingers for blending and shading instead of a fine brush which is normally a no-go for me because normally Everything should be clean and accurate. And I did dynamic and rough moves to smudge and scribble to figure out how compressed charcoal, pencil and natural charcoal will work together. But the biggest difference was to be more spontaneous. Like I said before, I usually have a very specific idea of what my artwork should look like. In this case, it was just a little spark. I knew the figure, okay, but every detail was spontaneously. I listened to some good old heavy music, let it flow and after all I got a result I didn't expect it. And yeah, I was pretty surprised that this experiment was not a failure and ready for uploading here on YouTube and not in my trash can. So what's my conclusion? Well, be brave and try something new and stay open minded to do some different stuff. You are a pro in pencil drawings? Well, how about charcoal? What's the baddest thing could happen? Okay, maybe you will ruin a sheet of paper or a canvas and you need to start again. But in my opinion, this creative destruction is a part of a much better thing. Because even if you fail, you will discover a whole new view, how to make art, how to be creative, or just being better. In the best case, you will discover your own art style. So is this the best artwork I've ever made? Eh, probably not, but I've learned so much more about handling charcoal and mixing different tools together than 100 drawings before. It felt like liberation just because I was not so focused on techniques, realism and how it should turn out. But what's more valuable to me is that I gain back my loose wrist, the confidence to add more spontaneous ideas into my artworks and listen more to my creative instinct. Whew, this speech was epic. Anyway, stay relaxed, stay creative and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care and see you soon to a new witty.